Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome back to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are going to see that how we can pass dynamic classes in our links, right? Or dynamic classes in anything. So here, what we are doing, going to do is, if we go to contact us page, then you can see that active class is still on home page, but it is not reflecting on contact us page. Same way over here, if we go to sign up page, then contact then active class is not reflecting on sign up page so we will fix this so to do that we need to go to register.html sorry not register base.html okay we have imported the navbar so we will go to components and navbar i will hide the terminal and here we will go to home first now here we will check for the path okay so i will just first of all zoom it and i will start my toggle screencast mode now here i will give if condition like if request dot path is double equals to slash then we want class with sorry paste it over here then we class we want class with active class okay and else we want class without active so i will save this come over here refresh then you can see the class has been gone when and we click on home then we can see that class active has been applied so we will do this same thing for the another link okay so i will just paste it i will remove this class and here instead of slash i will write whatever the url is so i will go to urls.py file here and i will say contact us so contact underscore us save it come over here refresh contact us it's not showing why hmm. okay we need to give slash come over here refresh still it's not working now it's working we need to give slash here and here then only it will work okay and here we will go for login and sign up so i will remove this class and i will paste it okay i need to copy it so copy paste and then now I will go to author urls.py and I will copy this link. So login and I will do same thing for sign up. So copy this again, paste it and I will copy register and paste here come over here refresh i go to sign up okay it's not working because i need to copy this one okay why it's not working for the sign up hmm. a few inches later okay it's not working because we have not added these authors here and we will apply migrations so i will clear the terminal and apply the migration so python many.py migrate okay now i will start the server come over here refresh go to register slash it's not working okay change over here 
and we need to see same settings in our URLs, right? It's done. Refresh, come over here, login. It's not working. Why? 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 Inspect element. Hmm. If request dot path. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it should be authors slash authors. Now, now it's applying. Yes, we need to write authors and then this okay so i'll just copy this oka and i'll paste it over here and remove one slash refresh login okay so we have fixed this dynamic url allocation so yeah in next video we are going to see that how we can automatically log in the user after creating after registration so this is it for today's video guys and I will see you in next one and if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel.